Hi, it's Ryan from Ryan Fowler Photography and I've got a tutorial for you on how to use the boundary wrap feature in Lightroom. So this boundary wrap is for when you're doing panoramas and it helps to even out that horizon line if you've got a slight curvature or something like that. So um, I'm going to jump into Lightroom now and I will show you my process of going through and doing panorama. I have done it before on a different video, but I'll go through it again and I'll show you how to use the boundary wrap feature, which wasn't in the last video. So let's jump in. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the first image of my panorama. And I'm going to take it into the develop module. Now this was a handheld panorama, so it isn't very straight. <laughs> um, the horizon is pretty good, but it's not perfect. Uh, we're in the uh, in the develop module now. Couldn't forget the word. Couldn't remember the word for a minute there. Um, and I'm going to go into lens corrections here in the panel, and and remove chromatic aberration, and also enable a profile correction, and set it to Canon, just so that it's got the right um, profile correction for when we do the merge. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge that across or sync that across these images here, click sync and synchronize. Alright, so there we go, so the settings are synced, right click, photo merge and panorama. You do have to make sure that all of those are all um, highlighted before you do do this. And it's going to come up here and create our panorama preview. This is going to take a couple of minutes depending on how long your um, or how big your panorama is. Depending on how big your panorama is, this will probably take a couple of minutes. Um, this one's going pretty quickly. And you can see here on the screen that it's turned out pretty well. This was taken in Fiji um, of just the hillside and the, um, and the shoreline and the water and everything here. And this has actually worked pretty well perfect. I probably wouldn't do much boundary wrap on this image anyway. Um, so you can here you can change the projection from spherical, which is how this one um, is looking pretty good at the moment. You can change it to cylindrical, and then each time you click on a different one, it's going to build a new preview, and then it will change it slightly. It's usually only just a small change between spherical and cylindrical, um, and then down here to perspective. Sometimes this can really change it. I don't know how it's going to turn out on this one. It's pulled it back a little bit. Um, my personal preference would be the spherical projection. And it looks like this. Now this boundary wrap feature, so if I untick auto crop, you can see all of these little lines around here. Now I would suggest leaving auto crop turned on simply because it's a lot easier um, a lot easier just to have your image get auto cropped rather than you do it yourself. But this boundary wrap feature, if I do this, you can see how it's pushed everything to the edges here. But if I click auto crop, this is going to adjust the projection a small amount. So um, I'm actually going to leave auto crop unticked because. Um, I'm doing it for the purpose of this, but I'm going to turn the boundary wrap all the way up to 100 and here you've got our panorama. So I'll hit merge. Now I'll cut the video here, I'll come back when it's merged and I'll see you shortly. Okay, so the panorama is all done now. Um, it's all been stitched together. Took probably five minutes or so to do this one. Um, depending on how many images you've got, depends on how long it takes. Um, and also if they're completely level or not. And here is the final image. This is the um, fully stitched together one. I haven't actually edited it in any way. Um, this is just how it looked uh, stitched. And that's pretty much the boundary wrap feature. Um, helping you to straighten your horizon lines uh, before you actually do the merge is very useful as well as um, as well as being able to fill out the frame in your shot. So that auto crop feature, it sort of crops it so that it looks 
well, cropped, um, so that it looks clean around the edges, but if you untick that crop feature, slide the boundary wrap up until it fills the frame the whole way, you'll get more resolution out of your image uh, if you do it that way, because you are filling the entire frame instead of the program actually cropping the image for you. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. This is a new format of the video for me with me actually filming me um, as well as the screen. Please do like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think of it and I will see you in the next video.